Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new episode of Did You Know featuring Sivir. At the end of this episode, I will be giving away 5 pack Sivir codes thanks to my sponsor, Skins for Lol. But without any further ado, let us go straight to her abilities. Sivir's Q reduces in damage per target hit, and this does not reset when it begins its return phase, so make sure to aim properly. If Sivir dies while the boomerang is still out, it will actually return to her corpse and can still deal damage on the way back or forward. Spell Shield will only block the Boomerang Blade once out of the two potential times that you can be hit. Her W will only proc on-hit effects like Critical Strike or Lifesteal and on the first target hit, not every single target. As you can see in this video, I only get the plus HP every time I hit Nocturne but not when the W damages the minions. Somewhat on the contrary however, it seems that the Ricochet ability will actually apply Black Cleaver's passive on each single target that W hits. This ability cannot be blocked by Spell Shield since of course it is treated as a standard auto attack and not a spell cast. Ricochet is also an auto attack reset ability. If Sivir has Banshee's Veil and also activates her Spell Shield on top of it and then a spell hits her it will actually take out both the Banshee's Veil and her Spell Shield altogether at the same time. So make sure not to overlap. It seems that even if she has Morgana's Black Shield on her and activates her own Spell Shield, if she were to get hit by something like Ash's Arrow, her Spell Shield, even though the Ash Arrow did not go through the Black Shield, will still get activated. Which can either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the situation. Sivir's ultimate is not treated like an aura in the sense that if you move away from Sivir you will still get her ult effects on you as long as you were within the range of the initial activation. This salt also affects minions making it very good at pushing down towers or if you have minions fighting in the middle of a teamfight. Alright guys, let us jump into some cool facts and lore about Sivir. Sivir is one of the fewer champions to have two designers rather than one, in this case being Ezreal and Gwinsu. Looking back at the trailer for League of Legends, you can see Sivir in the line of champions but you can also see that her hair was a red color. Sivir's weapon is based off of a weapon used by Indian Rashpur warriors called a Chakram, which is capable of decapitating heads. Apparently, the old Sivir before her rework used to have a spell rating of 10 and was the first one to achieve that. Here's something very interesting. Long ago, back when the dodge stat and the old Sivir existed, Sivir was able to get the highest dodge chance in the game. This was done by getting 25% when she was moving from her passive, seals and quints of evasion, and 6 ninja tabby before the effect was unique, ultimately granting her the ability to dodge about 69.09% of all attacks. Things like this is probably why the dodge stat has been removed. Along with Ezreal, Lee Sin, and Karma, Sivir was the second champion to receive two champion spotlights due to huge changes to her kit. She was also one of the first champions to be designed for League of Legends along with Singed, Annie, Scion, Twisted Fate, and even Lee Sin. Let's go a bit into Sivir's lore. Sivir is referred to as the Battle Mistress among the people of Valorant and has a large reputation for not only her hunting skills but also her wealth. She also has a mysterious heritage. She grew up within Sharima Desert, where she excelled at tomb robbing. Her reputation quickly grew across Valorant and she ended up serving under the Noxus High Command until the big war broke out from which Sivir severed all ties with Noxus. Cassiopeia later visited Sivir with an offer to rob Sharima's greatest treasure. However, once they got into the tomb, the treasure wasn't there and despite Sivir's warnings, Cassiopeia still opened the door to the vault which set events in motion that changed not only Sivir's life but Sharima forever. The classic Sivir artwork has been reworked twice. Warrior Princess Sivir refers to Xena, the warrior princess. Spectacular Sivir refers to Wonder Woman from the DC comics. Bandit Sivir's weapon seems to be really similar to the Glaive from the movie Krull. Huntress Sivir is exclusive to the Champions pack along with Goth Annie and Silver Kale. Pack Sivir refers to Tron which is a franchise in which Disc Warriors fight in arenas. Alright guys that is the end of this video but let's not forget we have the 5 pack Sivir giveaways. So first off I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor Skins for Lol. They have a website where they sell some of the rarest and cheapest skins for League of Legends that is 100% safe and reliable. So I highly recommend checking them out if you want to have any of the sweet rare skins to impress your friends. 
So in order to have a chance to win one of these sweet skins, all you have to do is throw a comment underneath this video saying why you want to win. And after you're done doing that, definitely check out the Skins for LOL website, just simply browse around, see what's good, and maybe buy a skin or two if you wish. And after a week has passed, I will announce the winners on my Facebook and my Twitter fan page. And I will contact the winners through YouTube inbox, so make sure to keep checking or I will have to re-pick if you don't respond to my message. And it's as simple as that. So good luck to everyone entering and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.